Hi guys, today we are talking about micro frontend and the single spa micro frontend framework. And our agenda will be what are micro frontends, why single spa framework, and single spa micro frontend type. So, this video will be really short, and I wanted to cover the basic concept of micro frontend and the single spa. So, let's see our first topic what are micro frontends? Micro frontend is an architectural pattern. So, as you can see in our two pictures, in left side we have monolith pattern. And the right side we have micro frontend pattern so let's talk about monolith first as you can see we have three components component one two three all three components inside one single project which mean monorepo so let's take example first so your manager asks to do a change in component two and move the production into tomorrow right so let's say you did the change in component two but in order to push this change to the production you need to build and deploy entire project. So on the other hand, let's see our micro frontend pattern. You did the same change in the component too, but you can independently build and deploy and push the production that change without affecting component one and component three micro frontends. So what we can learn from here? First thing is we can do independent development and deployments and also it will be easier to maintain and scalable and the final one is we can give different teams to maintain these different micro frontends let's say your team has different skill set as example component one we need with the react component two we need with the Vue.js. component three we need with the angular so you can assign this micro frontend for different teams because you your teams have different skill set so as I summarize, as I mentioned before, micro frontends are an architecture pattern and we can develop, maintain, deploy separately. And each micro frontend represents a specific functionality of feature. And we can use different technologies to develop these micro frontends. Hope you got the main concept behind the micro frontends. So let's move to the why single spa. In the out there, there are couple of frameworks actually but today i am talking only about this framework so it will be ideal for do the migration from monolithic to micro frontend and let's say your team want to have the multiple technologies then you can go with the single spa let's say you have two micro frontend need with the react or with react another one with the view then you can have two micro frontend for initialize your react another one will be initialize your view like that and also if you talk about the east friends it has this centralized routing and also this travel management and it support this lazy loading you know the lazy loading it will enhance and improve the initial load time and also it will uh, support this uh, inbox module loading in the runtime and uh, they have a rich community actually and also the docu documentation is really good i remember they have this uh, slack channel as well and uh, the challenges would be actually initial setup will be a bit complex but if you get to know about that, it will be a bit easier. If you need to know how we can initialize this uh, configuration, you can watch my video in my channel. And I will uh, mention in my uh, description as well. Cool. Let's talk about micro frontend types coming under single spa. There are three types. Application, parcel and utility. Let's first talk about routing. In application, we can define routes. If we go to the layout.html inside root micro frontend, there are a couple of routes we can define there and each route, route responsible for different micro frontend. On the other side, parcel, we are not defining any routes in our layout.html file. What we can do is, we can include our parcel project inside of an, our application. Right? That's the main idea about having this parcel micro frontend. And usually, we are, there are no routes. If you talk about API, application has declarative API, parcel has imperative API. Utility is just exported public interface and about UI application and parcel both renders UI but utility may or may not render UI so I will give you an example for that one let's say you need to share uh, authentication logic among your other micro frontend so what you can do is you can define your auth logic inside your utility micro frontend then you can share among other micro frontends that's a one use case so let's say another example uh, there is a reusable component let's say Let's take a button you want to share with other micro frontend. Then you can initialize that component inside your utility micro frontend and share among other micro frontends. Right? That's the main purpose of having utility micro frontend. Life cycles managed by single spa for application and parcel we can manage by custom way. And uh, utility there is no direct uh, life cycles. So those are the main features of these uh, three types of micro frontend. So that's it for this video guys. So in the coming videos, I'm planning to do a couple of different topics and uh, these are the 
a uh, bunch of them and uh, it's about mainly inter-app communication and uh, what is system js what is imports map and how we can initialize micro content with the module federation so those are the topics i'm planning to do in the coming videos guys so make sure to subscribe and like share the videos and stay touch with me if you have any question feel free to put in the comment section and uh, you're always willing to uh, give my answers for your questions and thank you guys so see you in the next video